guys, Mr. Mice is here, and in this one, I'm going to talk about non-differentiability. So, where are things not differentiable? Because sometimes you have a function that's well, can't take the derivative of it. So, the a function is not differentiable at three places. Okay, it's either when the function itself is not continuous. So, if the function is not continuous at that point, it's not differentiable. So, let's take a look at a couple examples. So. One example would be when we have a jump discontinuity. I'm sorry, a hole in the graph, which is a removable discontinuity. So if we have a hole, that's not, that's not differentiable at wherever that value is. Another, we've got three that are not, uh, we have three things that are uh, not continuous, right? We have a jump discontinuity, all right, so in this case, it's not, it's not differentiable at whatever that value is at where it's not continuous. And lastly, we also have a non-removable discontinuity that is a vertical asymptote. So if I have a vertical asymptote, it's also not differentiable at that vertical asymptote. Okay, so this is one case where it's not differentiable, wherever it's not continuous. Now there are two other cases that are pretty interesting too. Wherever we have a sharp turn, we're not going to have differentiability. So something like, you know, something that looks like a absolute value graph, something like that, or anything that has a sharp turn. Now, just a quick, uh, quick thought about why this is true. We have such a change in slope that at that point, at the sharp turn, our, um, since, the since the derivative is a limit, that limit derivative, the derivative um, that's, that's a limit as x approaches a number, it's actually the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not going to be equal to each other at this point because the slopes change so fast um, that we're not going to have differentiability at that sharp turn. So if the slopes change really, really quick, it's such a sharp turn then we're not going to have differentiability. Lastly, we have non-differentiability at a vertical tangent. So something that looks similar to this, if I can draw this, comes up like this and up like that. So it's not, it's not vertical in terms of there's more than one point in that function to make it not a function. It's such that there's a, there's a tangent line that goes like this. And remember that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So if the tangent line is vertical, that doesn't have slope, right? That's not defined. So an undefined slope there is going to give us a non-differentiable function at that vertical tangent, tangent line. So let's take a look at some examples of functions actually, and we will uh, identify them why they're not differentiable. All right, here we are with my examples. Uh, the first example is the absolute value where we talked about. We knew that's not differentiable. So the, the question is, why is this not differentiable? Well, we know that the absolute value looks like that. So where is that? That's at x equals 0. So it's not differentiable at x equals 0 because it has a sharp turn. Right? Boom. Okay, what about this one, number 9? x squared when x is less than 0 and x. So we just kind of, this is kind of a really easy function to take a look at. It looks like that, right? x squared and x. What happens there? We have a sharp turn. It, it gets to a corner. So a corner, or what we call a cusp, when they come in like this on each other, this is not differentiable at x equals zero because it's, again, a sharp turn, just like the previous one. Okay, what about number 10? We've got x squared and x squared plus one. Well, if we graph that one, x squared looks like this, and x squared plus one is a parabola shifted up one. And what do we got there? We have a jump discontinuity at x equals zero. So at x equals zero, it's not, con it's not differentiable because it's not continuous. We have a jump discontinuity. All right, excuse my hand right over there. Okay, what about f of x equals x over x minus one? Well, we can see that we can cancel these x's out. So remember, that any time we can get rid of that, we have a hole. So we have a hole at x equals zero, and we have a vertical asymptote at x equals one. So both of these places 
are not differentiable. Right? Because we have a hole in the vertical asymptote. They're not continuous there. What about number 12? The cube root of x. Well, the cube root of x is that one function that, that looks like this. Okay, it goes, um, that's probably not, you guys can, probably can't see that here. Let's draw this bigger. It goes like this, and then comes down like that, and this way. All right? This has a vertical tangent line at x equals 0. So at x equals 0, there's a vertical tangent line. And we already did, um, we did differentiability rules. So if you actually use the power rule on this and you found the derivative, your derivative is going to end up being um, one third times x to the negative two thirds. And notice that brings an x in the denominator. And where in this function of f prime can x not be equal to? x cannot be equal to zero because in the denominator which is telling us exactly where it's not differentiable. All right, so that's some examples of where we would have functions that are not differentiable. See you later.